the 28 day challenge. We are so excited that you decided to coach in the challenge and we are here and want to share with you exactly what that means so that everybody is super clear on that. We have seen lots of growth out of the 28 day challenge and we're so excited that you want to coach. So we want to make sure that you understand every detail that goes into it. So guys, right now you see on the screen our goal focused com website that's definitely a website you want to write down it's goal focused Dot com. That's something that you're going to want to be using. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have let us know, know let us know that you want to coach in this 28 day challenge. Uh, once you've done that and given us your email address, we're going to sent, set you up as a coach in HerbalifeWLC.com. That's another website that we're going to talk about today too. And Coach Purple is going to share with you exactly how to use that website in just a second. But once we set you up as a coach, you're going to receive an email at the email address that you provided. That email is going to um, ask you to accept that you wanna be a coach in the challenge. Once you've done that, that gives you access to that website to be able to enter your client's information. And that's all you have to do to get started as a coach. Once you've done that, now it's time to fill up the challenge. You wanna get all of your coaches, I'm sorry, all of your clients excited about the 28 day challenge because not only is it gonna help them get great results, but it's gonna help you grow your business as well. Once you get them excited about the challenge, you're going to send them to this website, goalfocused.com. Once they're here, you're going to tell them to click on this 28 day challenge tab up at the top. This is exactly what it's going to look like for them. So when they get here, they're going to see now it's time to get committed. It'll always have our next date of the starting challenge. So no matter what time of year they're getting started, we'll have one going. They're going to scroll down to where it says the participant's name and coach. They're going to enter the name of whoever it is and the coach will put as awesome. And then they're going to go ahead and click buy now. What that's going to do is a, it's going to allow them to pay their $10 entry fee into the challenge, guys. This all goes into a pot. It's paid into Synergy Nutrition's PayPal account, and that's what we use to pay out the winners at the end of the 28-day challenge. It's really that simple. What happens is once they pay that $10, we at Synergy will get an email saying that they have registered. Once we get that, we're going to forge that to you as their coach. Okay. Once you get that email, you have a couple jobs. It's super easy and super, super successful for your business to make sure you follow all of these. And we want to make sure that you understand that. So your job as a coach is to let them know that they are going to continue to go back to goalfocused.com. You're going to get them set up in the herbalifewlc.com website. And Jenny's going to show you that here in just a second. And then you're going to enter their weekly weights. And then most of all, you're going to be an awesome coach through the challenge. So Coach Purple, are you out there? Do you want to share with them a little bit about Herbalife WLC? Yes, 100%. Thank you, Tara. Awesome, guys. So right now, Tara's going to HerbalifeWLC.com. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log in. Now, the login for this is different than MyHerbalife.com. For Herbalife WLC, you're going to use your 10Y number and then your four-digit PIN. If for any reason you don't remember what your PIN is, no worries. Just log into MyHerbalife.com. And in the account um, settings of MyHerbalife.com, you can actually change your PIN, say you had forgotten it, and they'll set you up with a new one. So go ahead and log in. And then at the top of the screen, you will see an area, it's a blue line, and it says My Challenges. You're going to click on that, and once you click on that, <clears throat> it will say, we're going to upload it here shortly, but these are all the previous challenges that we've done. You're going to look for the name of the challenge specific to the one you're coaching in. Um, so you'll click on whichever challenge corresponds with the current challenge and click on that. Now, this opens up um, where you're going to log in all your people and where you're going to be able to see, you know, who's in first place, second place. Um, really, really awesome. So look underneath where it says fit into fall online challenge. You're going to see several little tabs, overview, participants, and materials. The first one we're going to look at is overview, which is actually what we have on the screen right now. Now, as you can see, you guys, this shows every person that's actually in the challenge. You can scroll through everyone, and it actually even says their rank, so what place they're in. And you can even see, like, um, if you scroll down, Tara, a little bit, 
how it will keep going. Say like how it says 28, 28, 28. It just shows where there's a tie um, for those people. And I say that to you only because I don't want you to scroll to the bottom and see, um, you know, at the very bottom, maybe it says 30 and think there's only 30 participants in the challenge. There's actually more than that. Um, just because again, that's a ranking number. So what you're going to do from here, a few things I want you to notice is not only the ranking of what position every person's in, but you'll also see if you find a red rectangle, if you'll scroll through those people, awesome. See the red rectangle right there? That shows that there's not current information loaded in that area. Um, so if you're going through and you see, you know, any of those rectangles highlighted in red and you happen to be the coach for that person, that means you haven't uploaded their newest information. So definitely make sure that you do that. All right, Tara, if we go back up to the top and we look at participants. All right, guys, this is the area you're going to focus in the most whenever we're starting the challenge. This is where you're going to actually go in and enter all of your people that have registered into the challenge. Again, like Tara had said, whenever you have somebody register at goldfocus.com, you're going to receive an email that um, they have joined the challenge. You're then going to reach out to that person and you're going to gather their information and enter it into this area. So the green box um, where the cursor is at, it says add participant. You'll click on that and you'll go ahead and start adding their info. The really cool thing about this, if they have already participated in a previous challenge, it's going to automatically populate their information for you. Um, so that way you don't have to, you know, re-enter everything. But definitely make sure you go in there and you add all their information. You'll notice there's a few spots um, where you have to, you can't skip it, you actually have to populate um, text into that area. For instance, the name, the email. And if they pay for the challenge, which if you received an email saying they register, register for the challenge, then they have already paid. So make sure that's marked that they, that they did indeed pay for the challenge. After you enter their information, you're going to hit submit. And it's going to, perfect, add them into the challenge. Now, as you can see, on the left-hand side where the list of our participants' name are, if you'll notice, Allison's name is highlighted in blue. That means that the section of the screen on the right-hand side, that is where her information goes. And again, you can see at the top of the right-hand side where it says Allison Ellie. Um, just make sure whenever you're entering information into this that the name is the correct name at the top. So you're entering the information for the correct person. So for week one, you're going to go ahead and make sure it says week one, and you're going to enter their weight. Go ahead and enter, um, that looks perfect, and hit save. Awesome. If for any reason you had made a mistake or you had populated the wrong information, you can hit edit, and then you can go back in and change the weight there. So that's what you're going to do at the very beginning of the challenge. You're going to take all of your people, you're going to add them as participants, and then on the first day of the challenge, you're going to add all of their initial weight. Now you can see kind of right in the middle of the screen where it says week one, and it has a drop down box where you can change it from week one to week two, week three, week four. Every week that you enter their new current weight, just make sure the correct week is populated before you enter their weight. Again, you'll hit save. And the really cool thing about this, you guys, is Herbalife does all the work for you. It does all the calculations for you. So as you're going through each week and you're populating a new weigh-in for that individual, on that very first screen we looked at, the overview screen, it's already doing the math for you and placing those people in an order corresponding with their rank in the challenge. Awesome. Thank you. Now back at the participants page. The other cool thing Herbalife does to make it super simple for you is everybody on this page is populated in alphabetical order. So it's going to make it very convenient for you to be able to go through and find your individual people um, so you can enter their way, way ins at. All right, awesome. Moving back up to the top, our third tab that we're going to look at materials. You guys, if you have not looked through this yet, I highly suggest you do so. There is a wealth of information here. If you scroll through 
all of this, you'll see like it's broken down into 12 weeks is the way the Herbalife's done it. And they give you trainings to go over um, that you can actually click on and email to your participants. But it breaks it down for, you know, each week you're just covering a new, a new section. But what I love to do, you guys, is I love to go in there and read these. There's great videos in there as well. And it just really, really gives you a lot of information. So that way when you're talking to your participants about protein or about eating, you know, dining out or fiber, it gives you everything you need to know to be able to give them um, very, very educational coaching on our part. Awesome. Very cool. So let's see. That is that is all I have for Herbalife WLC, Tara. Unless you have something additional to add. No, the only thing I was gonna say, Jenny, is if they wanna, if you guys wanna send materials, all you have to do is click over here on this box where you see the check, wherever, whatever week you're wanting to send. But right now I've clicked these three, so this is what I would be sending to participant. And then see where it says add recipients. If you click on that, you can pick who you're gonna send it to. So let's say I just wanna send it to this one client. I would click on that, that becomes the recipient. And then I can also enter a personal message, personal message, but I, I can say whatever I wanted to say and then hit send and it's automatically gonna send that email for you. So that's the only other thing I had, Jenny. How does that sound? I think it's perfect. Awesome. So let's turn it back over to Coach Mike to finish it up and let everybody know some more details about the challenge. And we, like we said, we're super excited for you guys to get started coaching. Hey, guys. So uh, thank you again, Coach Purple. That was awesome going over the WLC, the weight loss challenge uh, thing. That's, that's a great tool for everybody to use. So make sure you familiarize yourself with that so you're good going forward. So, guys, as coaches, you know, obviously with clients that are in the challenge, uh, we need to make sure that we're 100% invested. And what I mean by that, we need to be 100% invested in the challenge. You know, it's only 28 days. We need to be invested in our clients, and we need to be invested in our clients' results. So in saying that, we need to make sure that we're following up with our clients, you know, on a regular basis. That could be, depending on your client, because every client's different. You might be, you know, you might need to follow up on, with somebody every day. And then there might be other people that's only once a week that you're following up with them, but you need to be following up. Uh, in this in this challenge, you know, all your clients have to be on at least one shake a day. So it's very important that you're following up, number one, to make sure they're getting the results, but number two, to make sure they do not run out of product so they have enough products to get through the challenge, okay? I would encourage you, you know, this is, you know, you are a coach, so this is your business, whether it's part-time or full-time. I would encourage you to, you know, get with your clients and try to introduce new products as they go through the challenge. You know, anything you can do to help them get the, their maximum results for this challenge. So make sure you're doing that. You know, make sure make sure you're reaching your uh, client center of influence. So, you know, as they're getting their results, you know, you're asking your clients, hey, you know, what are your friends saying? What are your family saying? You know, and, and try to reach that center of influence because that could be potential uh, referrals for you going forward. So you want to make sure you do that. You want to do weekly shout outs. You know, if your clients are getting results, you know, you want to you want to shout it out on Facebook. We always make sure that the uh, client's okay with that. You know, we want to make sure that we can post something and they're good with that. But uh, you definitely want to be recognizing your people because recognition goes a long way. You know, sometimes they might be thinking they're having a bad week and they still maybe drop a couple of pounds. You know, in their eyes, they think they had a bad week. But with our coaching, you know, we can pump them up really quick to think, hey, that was an awesome week. You know, if you're losing, that's great. So, you know, and it might push them to be even more focused and uh, get better results the following week. So make sure that you're uh, recognizing them as much as you can. Uh, like I said, recognition is great. You could be, it could be on Facebook, you know, you, you can do some stuff on Instagram. You just need to make sure you're using all your resources. Okay. You know, we have a Facebook group that uh, it's fit for life. Uh, it's online weight loss group. So you want to make sure that uh, your clients are involved in that Facebook group. There's a lot of, you know, but people get a lot of things from other people as well, not just their coach, but they also hear great stories and stuff from other people who's losing weight or something they might be eating. They might see videos from other coaches. Uh, it's, it's just a great, great way to, uh, to help them with their, uh, you know, ultimate goal, which is to finish the challenge and then get great results. 